Two Teens. And a movie. Hi, I'm Corey. And I'm Colin. And welcome to Two Teens. And a movie. The movie that we'll be reviewing today is... Twilight Breaking Dawn. I am not doing that. Forget it. Wait, wait. I will. I will. Let me review it. I can do that. Okay, so I'm going to be reviewing as a mom Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1. Breaking Dawn is the fourth and final installment of the Twilight Saga. Breaking Dawn Part 1 gives Twilight fans exactly what they've been waiting for, the marriage and the honeymoon of Bella and Edward, finally. But this is no simple union, as you can imagine. It's complicated by the fact that Bella is also going to give birth to a child that's not entirely human. I don't want to give the rest of the movie away, but I can tell you the ending is exciting and thrilling and will leave you on the edge of your seat and you won't be able to wait until the second half comes out in November 2012 for the final installment of Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2. As my boys would say, there's a few things that you need to be concerned about and you might want to consider whether or not you'll let your child or teenager go to this movie. I would highly recommend that you are a teenager up because there's some sexual themes and there's also some graphic violence, particularly at the end. There are some scenes that I even had to turn away because it was too much for me to to handle or to look at. So for the things that I liked about the movie, I loved the fact that it was true to the storyline in the book, the character development was solid, and the special effects were amazing. They just keep getting better. What I didn't like about it was a couple of the scenes were just too graphic and too hokey for me. The graphic scene at the end with the childbirth was way over the top, and there's some hokiness when the wolves are talking to each other, and it just doesn't seem to fit with the rest of the movie. Okay, so now it's time for my favorite part of my boys' movie reviews, giving the movie its grade. So you might be wondering what I'm giving Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1. Well, I'll tell you, a B plus. It's not the best movie that I've ever seen of the Twilight series, but I really liked it. So, B plus it is. Hey boys, it's your turn. Okay, we're taking the show back. Let's try that again. Welcome to Two Teens. In the movie. The movie that we'll be reviewing today is... Happy Feet 2. Wait, I haven't seen this movie. Well, I have. Get out of here! Ah, Happy Feet 2 is the sequel to the original Happy Feet. The story is about what happens to a colony of emperor penguins when global warming creates chaos in their lives and in their habitat. This is a heartwarming, great family film. Let's cut to the chase and get to parental concerns. There is nothing wrong with this film, inappropriate-wise. Unless you're offended by dancing penguins, this film is completely fine. There are two things that I especially loved about this movie. One, they're penguins. Who doesn't love penguins? Second of all, they're dancing penguins. What is cuter than a dancing penguin? Overall, I thought the story was excellent, and the actors were extremely, extremely funny. If you liked Happy Feet 1, you'll love Happy Feet 2. Usually, I give grades with my brother, but this time, I'm the only one, so my grade rules. So I gave the movie a B+. Even though the movie was funny, there were only a few issues. The ending was very cliche, and the beginning was um, not as funny as I thought it should be. So from two teams... Wait, wait, I haven't done my movie yet. Get out of here. Sorry about that. After getting rid of that minor annoyance, I'll be reviewing J. Edgar. J. Edgar is a powerful film from Clint Eastwood. This movie is based on the life of a man who ruled the FBI for nearly half a century. Played in a stunning performance by Leonardo DiCaprio, J. Edgar tells the professional and personal life of a man fraught with conflict. He was feared, admired, reviled, and revered. But it was his personal demons that would eventually destroy his life and ruin his legacy. Now for parental cautions. Parents should be advised that this film contains homosexual themes, including one graphic homosexual kiss along with some foul language. Because of these issues, this film is recommended only for older teens and up. Here's what I liked about the film. Leonardo plays a magnificent role as J. Edgar. In fact, the makeup was so good, I didn't even recognize J. Edgar as Leonardo DiCaprio until we got to the flashbacks. I will be definitely surprised if this does not get nominated for Best Makeup at the Academy Awards. 
what I did not like about the movie is it kind of put me to sleep for a minute because they dragged things on a bit too long and they kept shifting back and forth between the present and the past and so I wasn't sure what time period I was in at first. Now here comes my favorite part, the rating. I give J. Edgar a B+. Now this is normally higher than I would have given it since the film was just too long. But however, because of the astounding performances by the actors in this film, I can expect some Oscar nominations at the Academy Awards for Best Acting. Two teams! Wait, 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 wait! I get to say this part. In the movie! Well, see you, you next time! time. Jeez.